Hi, my name is Olivia. I'm a senior at Lincoln East. I'm your old stuff. And this is my poem called Single Frame. You are the first photo in this frame. We are 14. You seem serene and in a state of bliss I struggle to understand. Fairly stoic, your bright eyes cut through the surroundings and stare desperately into the camera lens. I am insignificant next to you like a house next to a skyscraper. Even in the middle of New York, you still seem to shine. The light of this picture radiated throughout my room until your light faded. As you dimmed, the picture became more ominous. I covered you up. In the next photo, I am 15 and stand next to my father. We are red with slight sunburns from the bright rays on top of the mountain. His dark eyes are lit up by a sparkle of childhood and he looks younger than I know he is. I look younger too. As I pull back the photo of my father, you are staring back at me. This time I put together my timeline and I realized that I definitely loved you much more than you loved me when this photo was taken. I can see it in your eyes now. I can see it in your eyes now. I took the photo down that day. I decided that putting a photo of my father in the frame to hide your face was too weak, but putting anyone else in this special place would just be false advertising. So now my frame is empty. Its shiny glass reflects rainbows. The transparency is blinding now, reminding me of your absence. I am a walking advertisement begging someone to step into this golden four by six on the corner of my desk. The following photos almost did the job, but could never fill the space like you did. The glass on this frame feels too binding, too constricting, too conforming. I realized I have lost myself behind the glass of something I tried to make perfect. I take away the expectations, stop begging, and just hope someone walks in. Life provided me with exactly what I was asking for, and now the photo is of us. We are in white and gray against red brick, and I beam with pride and affection as you kiss my forehead. I have decided to allow this poem to have a happy ending. We shouldn't be ashamed to rejoice when we finally find something good. This picture frame is barely the extent now. My bulletin board is covered in photographs because my love cannot be contained to this single frame. There are seven people displayed in the 15 photographs in my room. I am now okay knowing that some will change. Recycling will be done, but someone new will always find their way into a snapshot. And now, I wait until the frame decides where we go next. Here's to the bittersweet. Thank you.